So in addition to the new KVD LFS baitcasting reel and KVD spinning reel, Luz is also set to introduce a reel designed just for anglers who love to fish those up close targets and re that require the precise presentations like skipping and pitching. And here to tell us more about the Team Lose Pro SP skipping and pitching reel is none other than Major League Fishing stalwart Andy Montgomery, who's widely considered to be among the best, if not the best in the sport when it comes to skipping baits in and around docks and other isolated targets. Andy, first I'd like to welcome you to our ICAST New Fishing Gear Guide and thank you for taking some time to familiarize us with this uh, new Team Lose uh, skipping and pitching reel. Uh, looking over the features of this reel, what stands out to you and why is this going to be a tool anglers are going to want and need when the fishing when fishing in those scenarios that I just described? Yeah, so uh, when Luz came to me about this, man, I was super excited. We've always designed rods and even baits for skipping, but nobody's took on the challenge of, of designing a reel specifically for skipping, which was probably the biggest challenge. Um, so when I started thinking about it, I knew the spool was going to be the most important thing. Um, the braking system, the drag, all that's important, but the spool was what was going to separate it. So we went to work designing the spool. Um, I left all the, the technicals, the gearing, um, all that stuff. Lou's already had that technology. They could handle all that part. We just needed to make a spool that would separate this reel and create the ultimate skipping and pitching reel. Um, so I got to thinking, back in the old days, um, when you was learning to skip, one of the tricks we used was we put tape on a reel. So we'd make a cast, put tape on a reel, and it would greatly reduce your backlashes. And the reason of that, a backlash is created by the line deep in the reel or deep in the spool coming mm -hmm. to the top. That's what creates the mess. So if you can eliminate that, then you can greatly eliminate backlashes. So we started, we had a couple different stools, but we started with a shallow spool. Mm -hmm. uh, so there just wasn't much line on there. There wasn't much line to create the backlash for the line to come deep from in the spool up to the top, create that mess, did several different sizes, kept fine-tuning and fine-tuning to get the perfect size that it wouldn't inhibit your fishing or limit your fishing as far as casting. If you're going around the dock and you want to throw out in a brush pile, mm -hmm. you needed that perfect size spool, but it's just a shallow spool limits the amount of line you have on the reel. And that just basically eliminates backlashes. Um, another cool deal we did is, is because you have to tie a knot on, on, on your spool, mm -hmm. uh, the knot was so so close to the top of the line, you could feel the knot. So we had to cut a groove in the spool uh, to kind of hide your knot so you wouldn't mm -hmm. feel it in your thumb. And mm -hmm. it just all goes back to what creates a backlash. And it, a backlash is created from line coming deep within the spool up to the top, creating that mess that you got to get scissors to get out. So another deal was I wanted a narrow spool um, because I wanted my thumb to pretty much cover the entire spool when I'm, when I'm skipping. I didn't want line on either side of my thumb uh, mm -hmm. to be able to get loose and come up also. So um, mm -hmm. not only is it a shallow spool, it's a narrow spool. You don't want a wide spool. Uh, to be accurate, um, the wide spools are more for long distance casting. So it's a narrow spool, shallow spool. It's got the the basic features that you need in a skipping reel, like a high speed, 831. You want that because naturally skipping creates slack in your line. Mm -hmm. uh, so high speed was important. And then the braking system is pretty cool because probably the number one question I get asked is how do you set up your reel to skip? Um, so we created um, basically a little skipping zone that's highlighted. You can turn this reel all the way to 10. And what's impressive about this reel, a lot of reels, when you turn them to 10, you just can't get the distance skipping. Um, but this reel, you can really get the distance skipping. Even at 10, um, I fish it about 7 or 8. That's what I do. I mm -hmm. filmed the other day with it, and I actually started on 10. And you really got the job done with 10, but I backed down to like 7 or 8. Uh, and can get a little more distance, but okay. and it just all goes back to the spool design. The spool design is what separates this from any other reel on the market. So the Team Lose Pro SP skipping and pitching reel is going to be available in mid October this year. Uh, price point is going to be one ninety nine ninety nine. So look for your favorite Lose retailer. But Andy, I want to take the time to thank you for joining us on the ICAST New Fishing Gear Guide, introducing us to this new reel that I'm sure you're going to get plenty of use out of real soon. Already have. <laughs>
Thanks again, Andy, and good fishing to you. Thank you.